in this video i am going to show you how to use mycotic router bandwidth test tools you can use these tools generally for two types of network troubleshooting number one when two mycotic router connected by a point to point link it can be ethernet it can be radio connectivity or it can be optical fiber connectivity you can check uh, link capacity link bandwidth using these tools secondly you can use it whenever your two office connected by a internet service provider and uh, you uh, will use a tunnel between those two branch offices and uh, you want to check the uh, service provider bandwidth in this scenario you can use this bandwidth test tools now i'm going to show you how to use these tools uh, for this uh, testing, I am using my two mycotic router and uh, between those uh, two router, I am using a Ethernet connectivity link. Uh, my two router is, uh, this is my router 1, router 1 and this is my router 2. It's called router 2 and uh, my and i am using a ethernet connectivity link between two routers ethernet 5 interface uh, firstly i am checking changing my ethernet 5 interface name bandwidth test router 2 and same to same on router 1 uh, for this link checkup before I am told you a point to point IP need to have to be on this uh, connectivity for this I am inserting a point to point IP between those two routers in point to point link for this I am now router 1 and I am inserting a point to point IP on router 1 with a 5 interface. Uh, suppose I am using 10.10.10.1 my Ethernet 5 interface on router 1 slash 30 for point to point IP. Copy it. Okay. And router 1, router 2. Test and it is 10.10.10.2. This is Ethernet 5. Okay, now I am going to check the bandwidth test server. You can find the bandwidth test tools on tools bandwidth test. But before you check the bandwidth, you have to check another feature tools bandwidth test server you have to authenticate you have to enable it on this uh, before you use these tools check it enable it and uh, if you use to authenticate you can check it i don't need this no and now i'm going to router one and then it is server it is enable it now i'm going to check my bandwidth on it for ether5 interface now i am router 2 and i am testing uh, you can see the test 2 you have to um, uh, insert your remote router's point to point ip um, i am now in router 2 and my router 1 ip is 10.10.10.1 uh, you can select the port over udp or tcp whenever you need uh, you have to select the direction you can check send bandwidth uh, receive bandwidth you can check your upload or uh, send bandwidth you can check your both upload or download bandwidth at the same time first i select receive and start you can see the bandwidth is highlighting and i am on the router 2 and i am checking my uh, download bandwidth or receiving bandwidth and you can see the interface is showing the my download bandwidth you can check my router one this is my router one and you can check the uh, tx 
or router one it is upload bandwidth stop now i am taking my upload bandwidth from i am now in router two you can see the tx bandwidth this is my uh, this is for router to upload bandwidth and if i am selecting the port uh, you can see the tx and rx are showing my bandwidth for this link it is, it is generated by upload or download at the same time uh, so in this way you can check your uh, service provider bandwidth can check your point-to-point -point connectivity bandwidth this is uh, very useful for you uh, when you are you need to check your service providers uh, uh, connectivity you can check whatever you getting or whatever you want so thank you please hit the subscribe